Our great blue planet is filled with green. Forests come in all shapes and sizes and are home to some of the most unique animals on Earth. But did you know that forests are not only found on land, but also in the ocean? In these underwater forests, trees and shrubs are replaced by seaweeds. One of the most widely distributed and fastest growing varieties is known as kelp. Kelps are large brown seaweeds that typically grow in shallow waters near coastal areas. Like terrestrial forests, kelp forests sustain biodiversity by providing shelter and spawning and feeding grounds for their inhabitants. And while its most popular tenant may be the otter, there are a vast number of more introverted species that call these forests home. The individual kelp's abundance and dense groupings create underwater forests that provide a supportive ecosystem for many organisms. When the environmental conditions are right, kelp can grow at incredible speeds, sometimes as fast as 18 inches per day. And like their terrestrial counterparts, they can stretch high above the forest floor, reaching up to 150 feet tall from their holdfast to their tallest leaf. To better understand how these giant seaweed work, let's take a look at the basic kelp structure. The root-like structures kelp use to affix themselves to the sea floor are known as the holdfasts. These structures affix to submerged rocks or reefscape. Holdfasts do more than anchor the kelp to the sea floor. They provide a home for many species of worms, mollusks, and crustaceans. Each leaf or blade is attached to the stipe or the stem. The thick blades are used by many organisms as a safe shelter from predators and a resting place during intense storms. Seals, sea lions, whales, gulls, terns, and sea otters are just some of the many mammals and birds that use kelp forests for protection. Some species of kelp also have a structure called an air bladder, which functions in the same way as a balloon, lifting the kelp towards the surface where ample sunlight is available for photosynthesis. Seaweeds, like kelp, are considered primary producers, which means they make their own food from the sun. Because of this, many organisms feed on them. The fact that they can provide both nutrition and protection make them an ideal habitat. And similar to land plants, kelps absorb carbon during photosynthesis. During this process called carbon sequestration, Kelp transforms carbon dioxide into seaweed biomass. Coastal ecosystems, like kelp forests, can sequester up to 20 times more carbon per acre than land forests. In fact, a recent paper estimates around 200 million tons of carbon dioxide are being sequestered by macroalgae every year, about as much as the annual emissions of the state of New York. The blue carbon that is removed from the atmosphere and stored helps counter the effects of climate change. Kelps are cold water species, so they grow best in cold and nutrient-rich water. This makes them sensitive to elevated temperatures. The steady increase in ocean temperature results in massive kelp forest die-offs. Terrestrial animals, such as humans, also benefit from these dense canopies of algae. Beyond providing a magnificent view while diving or snorkeling, large kelp forests slow and reduce ocean currents. Their long stems serve as a breakwater, reducing wave energy and protecting coastlines from unnatural levels of erosion. Although rapid growth rates help them recover quickly, kelp forests are still threatened by a variety of sources. Industrial wastes, inorganic fertilizers, and other pollutants carried from freshwater runoff can affect the growth and reproduction of kelps. In addition, overfishing and the removal of predators also greatly affect these forests. This has had a massive negative impact on the kelp forests off the coast of California. The California sea otter that calls this region home is known as a keystone species, as it is a vital link in the food chain. Unfortunately, the population of California sea otters has seen a massive decline due to habitat loss and commercial hunting. In fact, there are currently only 3,000 individuals left in the wild. To put this in perspective, the population of sea otters in the North Pacific Ocean was around 300,000 individuals in the 1700s. It's always sad to see forests disappearing. They provide critical habitat to countless species, remove carbon from the atmosphere, and protect our coastal communities. 
Whether on land or in the ocean, these important ecosystems need our help so they can be preserved for future generations.